G'day folks. Time to get me big lathe out. As you can see, I'm rolling it out. Very careful, slow process. A bit hair raising getting it around. We use these machinery skates and yeah, they can be a bit fun at times. They kept trying to work their way out from under the machine and it was too unstable pushing it along on them. So, I'm going to stick to the uh, old fashioned method of steam pipes. This one here is going to be fun to get out. Got tar now. I found out it's actually been dropped, that's why she's bent. Poor old thing. Still fixable though. The headstock had been rebuilt. It's in good shape. This one here hasn't been rebuilt, but still acceptable. Not too badly flogged out. A lot of brass. A good boring bar on it. It's a fair old machine. Pretty heavy. Still haven't figured out who made it. But the handle looks similar to the tar now, so it might be a tar now. Still got work to do on it though. That's not good. Pretty old beast of a machine. I don't know how quiet it runs. There's no three-phase here anymore, so I can't test it. Sounds a bit worn. Pretty clean inside the gearbox though. Oil in there. Speed one, two. I'm not sure if we can engage these on the fly. Most turret layers you can. So you start with the spindle and then you can adjust your speeds on the go. Just like your different processes, everything can be done on the fly. You don't have to stop it. I think that's low, low or high or something. lower again. So they're all speed selections, neutral high-low, and thread cutting speed selections which correspond with these two on this chart. But I'll get it cleaned up and do a proper video on it. I'll just get this thing out of here. I was trying to work out what this jigger was for until I pulled it out of course. At first I thought it was a lifting thing for the chucks, like a two-person lift. But this is a bloody spindle brake. This thing doesn't have a foot, foot brake or anything, so they just jam this thing under here with a bit of leather on it and you just lift up on it and brake the chuck off here. I don't think I'll be too keen on using it, unless it takes forever for the spindle to stop. Hopefully not OHSO approved. Well, she is out and ready for pickup. Just wheel it out in the morning and crane it on. Could get some light on it now. Found the threading chart, the feed chart. 